what's up everyone tonight i got some fall stuff some of it's from last year some of it's been in drawers for over a year um i started making this um wreath a wreath last year i never finished it so i'm not doing that tonight tonight i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys some of the some of the newer stuff i bought and it's all dollar tree stuff so it was all dollar 25 stuff um and I'll, I'll tell you which ones are the things I had from last year. Um, but tonight we're going to be decorating Tyler's mom's white chair. We're going to decorate it in fall decor. And then I have my ladder here that I'm going to decorate. But I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. All right, everyone. So this year, this was mine. I have, I have three of these made that are already in. They were in the garage. Um, I have a longer one made and I have three of them this size. I have four of them, I think. Three or four of them. That I have had made since I moved here, guys. They've been in the, um, they were in the shed for a while. Then I put them in the garage for a while. And, um, I think they've been in the garage. So I seen them in the garage and I, and I pulled one down and I thought, I'm going to make something with that. I'm going to make a fall decor. Um, so... We'll see how it turns out, but I have other ones. And what I would like to do, I was I would like to not make make it too permanent. That way I can take the fall decor off of here and redecorate it with Christmas or redecorate it with Valentine's or whatever. You know, so I can continue to, to redecorate the same thing instead of having to store this big old thing. I can leave it out all the time, just redecorate it. Kind of like a little tree that you, you just redecorate all year long. Anyway, so that was, oh, so that was mine. It was already um, here. This right here I got from the, from the Dollar Tree. I don't know how well you can see it. It's really cute. I want to put this like right here on, on the um, ladder. And I think I'm going to have the ladder straight up and down. I, I might use some Velcro strips. So that way, like I said, I can repurpose the whole ladder once falls over, once um, Thanksgiving's over. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I love them. They're little pumpkins. They had blue and white ones, but I didn't really want the blue. Um, with material, they are so cute. Really cute. So I got two of them. And then um, they had these little picks. So you get two little guys. It's just the head and part of the, you know, the top half of the body. Not really the body. It's just the head with the little furly dangle, dangling off. I got um, two of those. So I got, you know, so there's actually really four of them. Um, I thought they were really cute. And then this stuff was, this stuff was from last year. So we'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, this was from this year. I got this, this is Halloween, and it's kind of like a see-through mesh piece of material. I was thinking maybe I would drape it over the chair before I decorate it. The chair kind of really needed painting, the one that I'm gonna use. It was Tyler's mom. She used to decorate it um, for every season. So um, I'm not sure if I'm using this. Anything that you don't use from the Dollar Tree, you can return it. You just can't get money back. You have to just return it and get other items. Um, I bought this this year. And this I kind of really wanted to put on the chair. I was thinking this would go good on the chair. Hopefully this is all coming out really clear. Now, we'll go through last year's stuff later. I got... Um, I got four of these, I think. They're, they're just real little. I got, um, I'm trying to see which ones we got here. I got two for the chair and two for the ladder. And I think I got these two for the chair. The more orangey because, or no, wait a minute. No, I didn't. I got the red ones for the chair. And the reason I got the red, the reddish looking ones for the chair is because there's red in the the sign. So that's, I got the red ones. But I do have, um, hopefully these orange pumpkins look good with this. We'll see. Anyways, then I picked up two of these. 
And I could actually use these or the red ones for the chair. It doesn't really matter. These I would kind of like for, for this here. And um, they, they go with this, if you notice. So I kind of had an idea when I was buying the stuff. So I think that's, let me see, I think that's all the new stuff that I bought. Oh no, I got, I got these little pumpkins and they're on little like, little clips and half of them's already broke off. They broke off in the bag. One off of every one. I bought three packs and one off of every one is broke off. So I probably have to hot glue them back on there or. Um, oh, I do have glasses here. I was going to say, I might be able to push them back on there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm using them on the chair or not. I think they just slide up on there. So they just kind of pushed on there. Um, let me see if I can put this one back. The hole's already there. All right. So um, we're going to get started and we are going to, um, let me fix this one real quick. There we go. We are going to get started and we are going to decorate the chair as much as we can until we, i got more stuff in the shed. But this, this bucket right here was from last year. Let me go ahead and show you what's here. It says trick or treat and then you can turn it around this way. I think if you guys remember I had some styrofoam in here and I made like a boat uh, an arrangement in here last year um, I do have these leaves from last year that I could hot glue with the red ones and then that way I'd have a variety of lighter colors too and then I don't remember what this was for but I have two of them from last year I think I don't know what I was gonna make I really just don't um, I got these bows from last year and little baby pumpkins and then that's all that was in here but this stuff here has been over there in well it was in my desk the the, uh, the desk that I haven't that I really don't use yet I just keep throwing stuff in it and storing stuff in it all this was in my desk it was like I I still have more crafts over behind you guys that it's all from last year and some of it might be from the year before I buy the stuff little by little at the Dollar Tree. Everything is Dollar Tree. I buy it little by little and then I don't get around to using it. Just like the stuff for the reef. I just, I started doing it. I even got the pieces cut and everything and I never ever did the reef. So hopefully I still have the video clip of when I started it last year and then we'll finish it. Hopefully we get to finish it this year. I don't know. It's only the middle of September and almost, almost, well, almost the third week in September. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to make everything this year. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is the chair. So I'm going to leave last year's things out because I don't know if I'm, I don't know which ones I want to use. Let me just throw some of this stuff in here. I don't have a hot glue gun out right now, but I would like to at least decorate it and make it pretty. We'll see what this black stuff looks like around it. Once I open it though, I can't return it. So um, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll end up throwing a, a Halloween something on there, but I'm gonna get set up with the chair on the table. Oh, scared the cat. All right, guys, so this is Tyler's mom's chair. I don't know what you can see. She had it all um, antiqued out, and she had like a little, a little um, creepy doll. I, I, I say the doll's haunted. We, once we got this from when she passed away, we, um, the doll would, we would, we would like get rid of the doll and it would come, I mean the doll come back every time we, every time we just thought it was creepy and every time we would just decide that we didn't want it no more, we'd take it out by the, to the dumpster, it came back. It came back so many times to our door at Old Town, Old Town Manor when we lived in Maryland. Um, we just decided to keep it. Now it's in the garage where Tyler goes to smoke cigarettes. So, um. 
I don't know. I haven't tried to throw it away. I don't think his mom wants us to throw it away, or I don't. I I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is haunted. I don't have a clue if it is, but I don't. I don't really want it in my house, so it's in the garage. All right. Let's try to figure out which we're gonna decorate this chair with. Oh, we're gonna open this up first and see what the black stuff looks like. Let me back you guys up some. There we go. I told Tyler he needed to help me do this, but then I, you know, he, he got to doing something else. So this was a long time ago. I told Tyler he should help me, but I'll do it. It's okay. This is kind of like a fish, kind of like a fish net, but maybe not. Kind of like shredded material. Um, there we go. Look at that. Oh. It's kind of cool looking. What do you guys think? I mean, it, it ain't all that or nothing. Let's see. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. It's going to be too late because it's already going to be on here. <laughs> this chair sits out by our front door. The chair actually needs painted pretty bad, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Now this is kind of really chintzy material. It'll be all right. What do you guys think? Maybe I won't leave it on there. All right, so this, I wanted to put this, and I'll get the tag off there, but I kind of wanted this to be similar, kind of like this. Um... I know there's there's nails on each side somewhere here, but that's not going to work. I'm going to have to do it like this. And I can't tell what it looks like. I mean, it's cute. Yeah, I'll just have to um, maybe put a thumbtack back here. Let me get the tag off of this. And I might have to go get a thumbtack. I mean, I could put it like kind of like this. I think it looks better in the middle. Hmm. What do we think about this? It looks stupid. I think it'll be okay. It's going to actually be garbage when we're done with it. I have to find the thumbtacks because I moved everything. Alright guys, I got the thumbtacks. But now I need a hammer because I'm probably not going to have enough muscle to push that in. We'll see. got much muscle in this in in this hand oh I mean it's in there but I think I think I need to put it in there more I'm gonna grab a hammer got a hammer which I can't even see it it's dark back here Oh shoot, I pushed it over. Probably need Tyler's muscles. It's um, it's a really thin piece of wood, so it's really hard to, to, to put the hammer through, or the screw through. Thumbtack through. I can't even talk, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Tyler, I need you, darling. I knew he was gonna come help. I mean, it might stay. 
Oh, look. It, oh, it went right up in between there. That was kind of cool that it went up in between there. All right. So far, so good. This is like falling off. I don't know. I'm going to probably get this all the way on and then hate it and have to take it off. So here is this, and they're just cheap little pieces. It's not like they're real full or anything. They're very cheap. Wow, I was thinking I would need two, but I mean, I might still need two. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Come push this. Tell me what you think about this thing here. It's it looks ugly, good. isn't it? Do you like this thing? Right. Okay. Can you come back here and push this thumbtack in a little bit? Be real careful because it it doesn't want to go in. I kind of I already tried that. I kind of already don't like this bone stuff. There you go. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, you got babe. it, yay. Looks good. You think so? Okay. Think so. I'm glad. Is your mom, so that's all that's important is it looks good. I can probably push the thumbtacks and God, I, I should have just took this black stuff off. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this black stuff. It's got to go. I'm going to leave the, the thumbtack here because it's going to go right through it. I don't like it at all. So maybe for Halloween or maybe I'll give it to Henriette. Who knows? I, I don't like it. All right. So I can still do this. And I might be able to double this like this since I'm just going to kind of Go down around the, around here. Maybe I should put that on there before I put this on here. What do you guys think of that? So then it wraps around. I'm pretty sure that I can push some thumbtacks into the arm, the chair arm. And then just wrap it down and around. I think it looks pretty good. Kind of like that. Oh, that looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so then I got to take the other one and kind of do the same thing on the other side. And um, see how it looks. Now, if you have an old chair at your house. I had another old chair I gave to Henriette. And... Um, she left it outside of their house and it got rained on. It's probably garbage now, but um, if you have an old chair, it doesn't have to be old, you know, something that looks antique or something, um, you could decorate it up for every season. Okay. These have little round eyelet holes in um, the top, each end, and each end, but I'm using them for the thumbtacks. Let's Then I wrapped it, let's see, 
I went around like this. I think it looks good. And then I went to the, let's see. Well, that ain't working. How did that not work? Something's missing. Oh, right here. There we go. I think I wrapped it too many times or something. What did I do? I did something wrong. Totally did something wrong. <laughs> okay. So it goes like this. And then I gotta keep them together. That's what I did wrong. I think I wrapped it one too many times on the same level. There we go. I think it looks pretty dang good. And I can glue some other ones if I want. But I'm going to definitely use all these thumbtacks. kinds of nails in here. What are you doing, Mr. G? There we go. I should have used neutral color thumbtacks. But I think it looks pretty good so far. It's not going to be nothing real fancy. Um... It's gonna be, it's gonna be cute. There we go. What's it look like? It looks okay. <laughs> it looks okay. It'll Hey, this is um, budget friendly. It's not supposed to be glamorous. It's budget friendly for the person that ain't got much money. Okay, so I do. I know I wanted to put these pumpkins there. Oh, let me get all these tags. I didn't take none of my tags off. I gotta figure out. I have more stuff in the shed, so. I might be able to put more stuff on here. I'm trying to see what else I have. Oh, I wanted to do some of these little stick things. We'll see how they look. These little guys are so cute. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely need to get the stuff out of the shed to make this look a lot better. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. Unless I put them up here, kind of like this. Oh, there is a nail there. I might have to tape them. Oh, they're so cute. I'm going to tape them. Tape them right there. I got to get some tape. What are you doing, Mr. G? All right, guys, I just got some scotch tape. We'll see how it works. We'll see if it works. Just gonna 
tape it right around there. I might not get this tape off. It might be crappy. Maybe I should put a little groove in it. A little fold in it. So it comes off easy. Well, that side's not coming off at all. What do you guys think? There we go. I think it looks good. I'm going to put the little fold in it so it's easy to pull off before I put it on there. Perfect. Now the other side. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. So this is budget friendly. If you're on a budget, you know, you have to have your own old chair, of course. But, um, wouldn't take much to make this. It's cute. Oh, I love it. Look at it. I just need to do a little bit more here and hang something from here. Maybe I'll put some more, um, some more, um, garland on it. Oh, this, oh, I thought it broke. I was say it broke. It didn't break. It just came loose. Come on, stay there. There we go. I think it looks cute. I mean, I don't like this yet, but I think I need something else on there, on here. What about the basket? What about the basket? And if I could throw something down in there, then I could have the pumpkins like sitting. I don't know. You might not see the, um, this very well. I mean, this could go like, yeah, that's going to look stupid, too. I don't know. I'm still thinking. Ooh. We could just set this. We could set this, just set it down here. And lay the pumpkins on that. Too bad it ain't green. It would be look like grass. It would look like the pumpkins were laying on grass. Until I get more out of the shed, this is probably what it's going to look like. I mean, I could put a little bow right there. I think, oh, look at the bows. They are really cute. I like this here, so. I think I should wait and see what all I get out of the shed. Um, and I do like the idea of, the, of this. I just wish it wasn't so tall. You know, it wasn't so big. I don't think, I don't think I like it there. This black stuff, though. We could put, put two pumpkins there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me get out here and look. Something's missing. All the way across the front. But you're not going to really see this. You're only seeing it because it's up high. Um, it's going to be on my front porch. So I... Um, Kind of need something else. Hmm. Anyway, well, this is all I have for today. If you're on a budget, the way it looks today, it cost me, let's see, one, two, four, and that's five, and then three more. It cost less, less than ten dollars. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven items from the dollar twenty-five tree. So that's what this cost me. Um, oh, no, it would count this black thing, but I don't think I'm leaving the black thing on there. I love these. They're so cute. I might lay them in the kitchen. I don't know. I don't, I don't know until I go get my fall tote. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.